The main subject of debate over the past week is the supply of German Leopard 2 tanks. The government of Scholz is criticized at the international level for its unwillingness to transfer these vehicles to the Ukrainian armed forces. Berlin had previously said it would provide the vehicles after the Allies had done so. When London announced the delivery of its Challenger tanks, the German government said that now a US decision on the supply of Abrams was still needed. We Estonian, Latvian and Lithuanian foreign ministers call on Germany to provide Leopard tanks to Ukraine now. This is needed to stop Russian aggression, help Ukraine and restore peace in Europe quickly. Germany as the leading European power has special responsibility in this regard. Urmas Reinsalu, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Estonia, on Twitter. Moreover, even third countries cannot transfer equipment without the consent of Berlin. But the Polish Foreign Ministry said that if Germany's position does not change, then Warsaw will transfer its Leopards contrary to the rules. The head of German diplomacy Anna Lena Berbach replied that Germany would not interfere with supplies. And later the new German defense minister Boris Pistorius assured that a decision on tanks would be made soon. I fully sympathize with President Zelensky of Ukraine and he was on phone Friday. We both understand the situation we are in and understand the needs of our countries. And so I think that there will be a solution soon, whatever may be. These tanks are necessary. This is necessary for the counteroffensive in the direction of Donbass and Luhansk. This is quite clear. But how this will be designed remains to be seen. There are other states that can also contribute here, and this also matters. The fact that Ukrainian soldiers have already started to be trained to operate Leopards is an indication that the decision will be positive. This is very important for the armored forces of Ukraine, because the Leopard 2 tank is one of the best in the world and the most common model in Europe. And the total number of units in the EU will make it possible to withstand the huge tank potential of Russia. Therefore, President Volodymyr Zelensky called on the Allies to speed up the process and transfer more tanks to Kyiv. You must clearly understand when the Russian army, which has a thousand tanks, is against us. There is simply no one to fight there. They are afraid. They are unmotivated, and this is a plus for us. But when they have a thousand tanks, not a single country by the decision that they give us, 10, 20, 50 tanks solves the problem. They do only one very important thing. They motivate our soldiers to fight for their own values, because they show that the whole world is with us. I have 10 tanks, take everything. I have 100 tanks, take everything. I have one tank, I give it to you. In general, the results of the eighth meeting of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group turned out to be positive for Kyiv. The partners decided to supply a record number of military equipment. In total, 148 armored personnel carriers, 350 armored vehicles, 8 anti-aircraft missile systems, 19 long-range howitzers, as well as helicopters and various types of ammunition. Moreover, immediately after the completion of Rammstein 8, Estonia announced the transfer of all its 155 caliber howitzers to Kyiv. France about considering the transfer of Leclerc tanks. According to media reports, Norway is also studying the issue of supplying its Leopard tanks to the Ukrainian armed forces. The Ministry of Defense of Ukraine is satisfied with such dynamics. Back home after Rammstein 8. With each meeting, I see how our partners' trust in Ukraine grows. This is all due to the hard work of our soldiers and representatives. More trust means more weapons to protect our land, sea and sky. Ramstein 9 will be held in February. Stay tuned. Oleksiy Reznyko, Minister of Defense of Ukraine, on Twitter. Earlier, the commander of the armed forces of Ukraine, Valery Zaluzhny, in an interview with The Economist said that for a successful offensive he needed at least 300 tanks, 700 infantry fighting vehicles and 500 artillery systems. Since then, the West has been systematically increasing the supply of offensive equipment. Reported by Serhii Kulas, Danilo Kobza, UATV News.